G'day guys, thank you for joining us again in the ASFN bait demos and on a weekly basis we'll bring you what we know about baits, all the basics you can use and build on. We're starting off obviously with the popular and the most basic ways of making baits and getting results and we'll move on to more advanced baits as we go along. Now today very simple, I'm going to show you two baits but uh, it's the infamous blob bait that I want to put emphasis on. This, this bait all over South Africa works wonders. You catch a lot of fish on it and uh, mainly edible fish. You'll catch your smaller skates and rays on it as well. But you use it for, for edible fishing. You make a blob bait and you put it in the water and you wait. And what's uh, known about this bait and very interesting is a fish will pull you flat on this. You'll stand nothing and then suddenly, no pick, 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 unless there's pickers, but you'll just be pulled flat and you hold on and that's one of the very exciting baits to use and a very simple bait to use now for that what we're going to need is a mustad bait holder what is a bait holder bait holder has got on the back here two little bulbs and that's to help hold the bait on the hook on the back of the hook on the shank specifically made for something like blob baits and um, this is a little 2-0 um, you can obviously use the size you want to all right, now and another thing for this bait we'll be using for any chocker bait guys you're going to be using your chocker hammer so make sure you get one of these and have it handy when you use chocker if you're not sure how to clean a chocker there is a clip on our channel on how to clean chocker now in that clip of cleaning chocker I explain that you're inside of the chocker after we opened it up is much softer than the outside as, as if it's got a, a, a very thick skin on the outside. So this is a side that's going to go softer quicker. Now for that size hook, I only need one strip of chocker. Could have pushed a bit harder there. All right. I always cut this back piece off because it doesn't beat nicely. That's basically the edge of the skirt. And then I always, for my blob baits I make, I use the two tentacles on the bottom. I just cut as long as what I want them and the rest of the bait I'll be using for the blob bait. Two little tentacles like that. Just for that extra little movement. And then this is the soft side, which is the inside. I'll mush it up a bit. I'm sitting in my office here, so I'm not going to hit it as hard as what I would do on the beach. But you will mush this properly. You will hit this till it looks like it's spreading to pieces all over the board. So starting from the tentacles, I'll work my way up. You can see it's going nice and mushy and you'll carry on doing that fold it over if you want to eat it more that side eat it more that side eat it more everywhere just mush this up now you can't beat this too much guys so this is really it must be like that mush you can even beat it more and if you think you've done it you can beat it more and then once you're there and it's not you can beat it more and that's the secret of a of a blob bait. I'm gonna take the hook. And basically, you're just gonna zigzag it onto the hook. Tight. You zigzag it nice and tight. Now this hasn't even been beaten enough at all. You can really beat this bait. Now the thing with this is you can hide your hook into it. It's like a ball of cotton in the water. That's the whole purpose of this, if I can uh, compare it to anything. This first piece you put on, you pull it over the, the eye of the hook so it sits on the line. It pushes down and it holds it up. Otherwise everything goes and lies on the bottom of the hook. 
and I leave the two tentacles. The last piece I put on is still in the unbeaten section, just to hold it in the bottom as well. Um, in that tentacle where it hasn't been beaten much, and that's a blob bait, as simple as this. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in the water and show you what it does. Now if you had to beat this enough, and when I say enough, it will immediately, with the movement in the sea, it will become a cotton ball in the water. And the fish just gobble that up. The tentacle, tentacles as you can see, it's adding for movement as that's moving around in the sea and fish can't resist this bait. Really an awesome bait. Now as I'm sure you saw, I've still got the chocker head here and I wanted to show you guys how to uh, use this as a chocker blob bait. And it's very simple. You halve it for a smaller hook like this. Cut it in half. Right through. Like that, and now you can also beat the holy crap out of this to get it nice and mushy. Not the tentacles, you don't have to, that's for movement. And you'll do exactly the same thing. Things you don't get this off the hook very easily, the blow it. With all the bobs and the bait holders, and, but that's what you want. You don't want the fish to just suck it and it's gone. And you're going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to start with this pup mush, turn it and zigzag it around till it kind of goes onto you. That's what you want a blob bait to do, to give you guys a good example. If you really beat it enough, it will start doing that to make that cotton ball in the water. Now, using the head like this, as I said, certain areas the cob love it. Um, and a spotted gully won't swim past this. Spotted gully sharks. And you just work it all the way down until you're between the eyes or into a tentacle so it can lock it in the bottom. The hook's still nice. And if I stick this in there, you'll see, look at all the, the juices that's going out there. And this is going to move in the water like that. Same story, guys. A cob's not going to swim past that. For general fishing, I'd rather fish the normal blob bait. This I'll use when the water is very cold and in fairly deeper water. And that brings us to the end of this week's bait session. So make sure you join us next week to get the next one. And uh, make sure you subscribe to get notifications of all the clips we're loading. Obviously we're doing weekly rigs, we're doing weekly baits, we're doing some tech on tackle and equipment and rigging up. Um, so make sure if you subscribe that you can get these notifications. And guys, thank you once again for watching and thank you for your support, making it possible to bring you regular information on a regular basis.